Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this session that I hope will be very useful to you. Okay, this is Mustafa Zaki. I'm a supervisor of English and a certified trainer in Teacher Academy, a teacher and educator, and also a teacher educator in NTTB program. And today's topic will be mainly focusing on thinking skills. We'll try to understand what thinking skills are and how can we apply thinking skills in teaching. Hopefully by the end of the session, you will have categorized thinking skills and selected questions that could be used to promote them. Also, we'll learn about mnemonics this is another topic relating to how to study and how to pronounce English, how to remember spelling. And also we'll learn about heteronyms. Uh, it's a very interesting topic. And finally, we will contrast noun verb stress, words that are used as nouns and verbs, but with different stress, okay? Let's get started. The first thing we'd like to talk about is Bloom's taxonomy and the difference between Bloom's taxonomy and the national curriculum in England. And there are two different ways of classifying understanding skills and thinking skills. Okay. I'd like to start by asking you a question. Uh, do you know what Bloom's taxonomy is? And what are the classifications, the levels of understanding in Bloom's theory? And what is the difference between Bloom's taxonomy and the national curriculum in England? Bloom's taxonomy versus the national curriculum for England. This is the, the point that we need to think about first. Okay, you can pause your video for a moment and think about the difference between Bloom's taxonomy and national curriculum for England. Okay, as for Bloom's taxonomy, it's one way to categorize thinking skills it comes from Bloom's taxonomy. This taxonomy of thinking skills has been widely used by teachers in planning their teaching. What Bloom's taxonomy? Bloom identifies three basic or low order skills. These are remembering, understanding, and applying the three levels of low order of thinking. The base or the basic level. And he also identifies three high order skills, analyzing, evaluating, and creating. So Bloom is a scientist who classifies thinking into six levels. Three of them are basic, they are low order, and the other three are the high order skills. Okay, what is remembering? Is to remember something or to know about it, describe it, repeat it, define the thing. This is called the remembering level. And it's the simplest and the easiest thing you can do in understanding something, okay? The second level is understanding. And we mean here by understanding 